Good morning. Welcome back to the House of Tone. My name is Wesley. I'm a professional band instrument repair technician. I started a YouTube channel to document my life in the trades. I appreciate you dropping by. We have been running and gunning this week as fast as we can go. It's been good. I'm tired. Sunday, March the 26th. So here we go. Today's video is not about band instruments. Today's video is about fabrication. Let me tell you a little story. I got a phone call Wednesday or Thursday of this week. One of my really good friends, band director. And he tells me a story about how one of his star flute players, she's a senior, they have all of these performance and evaluations come up and she's had a horrific accident. She has broken her thumb. When you're playing flute, you gotta have that thumb. It has to stabilize. She's gonna have to have surgery on her thumb, so that means she's not gonna be able to utilize it. They are gonna leave the fingers open, so she'll be able to do this. I think she's gonna be in a lot of pain. She's very brave for wanting to play. The cast is going to come down her arm to some point that we don't know about, but the thumb will be immobilized. So he's asked me to create something to act as a rest. So that's what we're going to do. My original idea was to take a part of a, a flute because it's already the same shape, solder it to some brass and pop on. That didn't work. So I've been thinking about it for the past few days and I believe that I've got it set up. This is how I, it goes through my head. I appreciate you following along. Let's jump right on into it. Down and dirty. Here are the parts, the raw materials, I believe that are going to help us out. I've got this thick piece of brass. This is 0.065. This is some, I made some custom braces for a customer. This is some leftover pieces. This is a, uh, brace flange from a sousaphone. I like the threading on this. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I've got this tube, this ABS tube that has got a quarter inch hole in it. This is about three inches long, I believe. I've got a piece of quarter inch brass. However, the problem is quarter inch outer diameter, quarter inch inner diameter. So we're going to have to fix that. And then we've got this round tube. This is three quarters of an inch inner diameter which is the same as a flute. So I want to use this shape. Let's go see some bad drawings and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Okay, we're going to start with this round tube. I want to mill off everything that doesn't look like a C shape. Then I'm going to drill and tap it for a quarter 20. This is our piece of brass rod. Our piece of brass rod is going to get turned down, get threads put on it for a quarter 20, so it will, or the C shape now, this will be the cradle, this will be the business end. The brass will go into the ABS tube, drill and tap for some set screws. The tube will screw onto the brace flange. The brace flange will be soldered onto that plate. That plate will be annealed. It will rest against the cast. And then we'll make a strap for the whole thing. So this is it. This is what we're gonna make. Seems simple, right? Let's go for it. I turned a wood dowel that is slightly oversized. This is very tight. I'm gonna drive this in. I have that running all the way through my tube. That's gonna keep this from crushing. I wanna face off the boogered ends of this ABS and then drill this out slightly so we have a good fit.
Now I'm gonna flip this other side around and I'm gonna set it up. I got a drill and tap 3 16 Let's see, this side. Now we've got a perfectly smooth fit. Great. Now we'll drill some set screws. These are the little cap screws that I have today. I believe that these are 832s. Take a screw checker and verify. Yep. So third pitch of an 832. So there we go. That's where we're at so far. Okay. See the white dust that we just got into? We just broke through. Get your strike. Okay, that wood plug did its job. Nice and clean.
Let's check it against the flute. That'll be good. Pops on there, nice and tight. Put the threads on the brass rod. And I'm not gonna do this under power. I'm just gonna spin the headstock. That's gonna butt right up into that. Oh yeah. That's gonna sit right down on that and be almost even, so it won't. That's gonna be great. That looks about right. Looks like about a thumb. That looks like a pretty good representation of a thumb. Okay, so now I'm gonna go solder this up. Nothing exciting about that. And then we'll meet back at the bench and we'll figure out a strap. And if I go about seven inches, either way that gives them, that can make up for that cast room. And then they can custom fit it to there, so. I think I want to knock it right here. screw on. Now I'm going to tighten that down and I'll epoxy it in a little while. So our end result is that this clamps right between the F foot and the actuator to go to the B flat. A little bit wider than the thumb. I believe that's gonna work out for her. this came out great I really hope it will help our our student in need I hope you got some tips and tricks out of how I go about fabricating things and making stuff I appreciate you watching everybody this is Wesley signing out